Hello to all the friends and loyal followers of the Blue Cube YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm here with the continuation of the Adobe Animate tutorial from scratch. In this video, which is the second part of creating a character using images, we'll focus on animating the mouth. In the previous lesson, we placed the different body parts of the character on separate layers and converted them to symbols. Now, to animate the mouth, I'll first press Ctrl plus A to select the layers here. I'll enlarge the character a bit, hold down the Shift key, and position it here to work more easily on the mouth. Alright, I'll click on my document to deselect it and select the head layer which is in symbol mode. In the previous lesson, we converted the head into a symbol. I'll double-click on the mouth area and then double-click again. You'll see that it shows different parts of the face here, allowing me to view them. If I double-click on the lips again, I can select them with the free transform tool and press delete to remove them. I'll double-click on the document and then double-click again to exit the internal symbol mode of the head. Now, friends, to create the character's mouth using images, we need to download various mouth shapes. For this, I'll go back to the Freepik website, which I introduced to you in a previous lesson. You can simply type, mouth, and click the search option. You'll see it shows various mouth shapes, and by selecting the Freeth option, you can download all these mouth images for free. Choose one of the images and click download to save it. Once you've downloaded the file and unzipped it, you may find an EPS file instead of an Illustrator file. To import this file into Adobe Animate, we first need to convert it to an Illustrator file. I'll double click the file to open it in Illustrator. Here, I'll open the layer panel, expand the layers, and look for the various mouth shapes. For example, if I expand these layers, you'll see it displays the different mouth shapes here. First, I click here, then click on these three lines, and select the Release to Layer Sequence option. I'll reopen this section. Select it, and drag it out. I delete the other layers that I don't need. Only the different mouth shapes should remain. These images show the different mouth shapes. For instance, the mouth shape for the letter A. I'll zoom in a bit. This shape represents the mouth shape for E. The O shape looks like this. And for the letter F, the mouth shape changes accordingly. Now, to remove these letters, I'll select them here with the selection tool and click delete. After preparing the mouth shapes, I go to File, click Save as Choose where I want to save my file, give it a name, and click Save. Alright, our file is ready. Then I go to Adobe Animate, in the File menu, choose Import, and select Import to Stage. I choose my file, which was numbered 55, open it, and click Import to bring in the different mouth shapes. When the lips are imported, you'll see that an additional layer is added alongside them in the Layers panel. I right-click on one of the lips, select the Break Apart option, allowing me to move each lip individually. Then, I select all of them again, right-click, and convert them to a symbol. I select Convert to Symbol and Confirm. Now, I double-click on one of the lips to enter the symbol mode. I've selected them all within the symbol and on layer 1. I'll mention again that we have a scene here, and if I double-click on the lip again, you'll see that I enter the symbol mode. 
Now that we've selected them all, I right click on one of them and choose the Align option. Or I can select it from the Align panel here and center align everything. In the window menu, you'll see the Align panel here. If it's not active, you can enable it. In this way, I center align everything so they're all stacked on top of each other. I position all of them here and scale them down slightly while holding the shift key to keep the proportions. Again, I select all of them, right click, and choose the distribute to keyframes option here. This way, each of those layers will get a keyframe, and if I move the slider over the keyframes, you'll see the lips animate accordingly. I select the play option. Now I return to the main scene where I can either click here or double click to go back. Here, I click to create keyframes for all layers, for instance, up to frame 40. I'll zoom in so you can see better. In this way, I drag with the left click and, in the state, go and click Insert Keyframe to create a keyframe. You'll see that the lips move automatically. Now, I don't want the lips to keep moving on their own like this. I want to control the animation myself. I'll scale down here. To do this, Click on the layer to select it, or go to the Properties panel and select the object. Here, instead of Loop, you can select Single Frame. Now you'll see that the character's lips no longer move. Now, for example, I can go to Frame 3, return to the timeline, select the keyframe where the slider is positioned, and click Frame Picker. in the object section to display different mouth shapes. I choose one of the mouth shapes, and you'll see that the character's mouth shape changes. At the start, I'll click on frame 1 and select the closed mouth shape, and it opens like this. I move forward a few frames and change the mouth shape every 3 or 4 frames. The closer the keyframes are to each other, the faster the character's speaking speed. I continue this process to the end. Now, if I press play, you'll see that the character begins to speak. In future lessons, I'll teach you how to add audio and sync it with the character's mouth movements. Now, if I move the character's head, the character's mouth doesn't move with it. I'll cover this as well in future lessons when we rig the character. Alright, friends, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until the next video, goodbye.